Welcome to the final episode on how to create a cake, and this is a Blender Burger tutorial. I have set up the lighting, but don't bother doing it yet. I'm actually not as much of a rebel as I said before, so I decided to stick with the normal process of modeling, texturing the lighting. So for now, let's start with texturing. Go to the shading tab and click on the chocolate coating. Now that you have clicked, this node will pop up. This is the basic principle shader. Thanks to our displacement modifiers, we don't have to bother too much with texturing. I'm making this texture brown to resemble chocolate. It's not bad, but it's too orange. Nice. This looks like actual chocolate. I want to eat it. Uh, anyway, let's continue. I'm uh, bumping up uh, specular so it will reflect the lights nicely and uh, turning the roughness to about uh, 0 0.4. That should be good for a chocolate material. No, the interesting part is incoming. We will add subsurface scattering. This isn't working too well in EV, but we will sort it out. Also, I'm aiming for this to look good in cycles, but this should be okay in EV. The only way to make this better for EV is not to use the basic principle shader subsurface scattering. Instead, add a mix shader and mix the principle shader with the subsurface scattering node. This gives us more control. If we increase the scale, the subsurface color won't be reddish. I'm gonna turn the radius down and that's okay now. Come over here to the basic cake and repeat what we did before. Let's start with the principal shader again. I'm looking for a basic brownish color. As you see, the subsurface scattering shader creates this red style like... Uh, Weird effect, especially visible in EV. With the principal shader, we can only reduce this by reducing the radius, but with our separate subsurface scattering shader, we have more control again. Increasing the size again will reduce the reddish tint, plus, it will make the cake less bumpy and more realistic. For our cream, we will do the same again, our familiar setup. For this, I'm giving this a bigger scale and uh, reducing the first radius. This ghosting effect is due to the big scale. If you want to use primarily EV to render this, you might want to change this. The ghosting effect, by the way, won't really disappear, so you might want to leave out well, subsurface cutting for the cream completely, although it makes it a lot better when different lights hit the object. Ok, now I'm changing the basic cake color, and although I'm changing the mix value, at the end I reset uh, it to 0 Ok, the last thing uh, remaining is to add a nice reflective material to the plane.
And now, here comes my render settings. This is how to set up Eevee, if you wish to render it with Eevee. In the end occlusion, Bloom is like that. Subsurface scattering is heavily used here, so I increase the samples here. And then I turned on screen space reflections and motion blur. For the camera, and I set the shadows to VSM and the cube and the cascade side to this. But I'm using cycles. It looks quite realistic. I forgot to add the materials to the whipped cream piles on the top and the second layer of uh, the cream on the bottom. So make sure to add the correct materials to them. And for the lights, I have two plain lights. I have two spotlights. The spotlights are blue. Uh, these are pretty much the same as in the beginning, and I left here our basic light that we have when we launch Blender. Also, the plain lights are pink, and make sure to check uh, contact shadows uh, to all the lights. That's the setup for the lighting. It's time for rendering. And to finish this episode. If you found this tutorial good, make sure to subscribe and uh, uh, press on the little bell icon so you won't miss out on the next episodes of the series. Did you know I'm a CG trader? And did you know I give out free models there as well? I'm uh, making premium ones. If you want to support me, feel free to buy some of my premium models so I can eat a hamburger, maybe a blender burger. See you guys uh, later. Also, uh, if you were thinking why I was almost laughing, it's because when uh, <laughs> I, I read the script and uh, <laughs> uh, there was this plot that I'm bumping up specular so it will reflect the lights. And uh, <laughs> I ac uh, accidentally read uh, I'm burping up specular so it will reflect the lights nicely and turning the roughness to about 0 0.5 uh, or 4. So yes, that's what I was laughing about uh, throughout the whole <laughs> recording and episode. Sorry about that.